Hello everyone. You're welcome to Fuco Mathematics. Here we provide solutions to mathematics problem. And before us today we have from um, square root of x over 2x equals x. Okay, so if you're new to this channel, just um subscribe to my channel and um keep learning from here okay so what do we do in this case you can decide to cross multiply because we believe this is over 1 so that square root of x times 1 will give us square root of x and that will be equal to 2x multiplied by x and that will be 2x squared now what do we do in this case we have 2x squared to be equal to square root of x as a matter of fact anyone can come first just like i did now what do i do i'm going to transfer or eliminate this square root by squaring it and that means that i would also square what i have on the left hand side so that 2 to the power of 2 will give us 4 x squared to the power of 2 will give us x to the power of 4 and this will be equal to this is going with this and we have just x now i will bring x to the left so we have 4 x to the power of 4 minus x to be equal to what that is some um, 0 because x is already on the left hand side now x is common to this then here we have 4x to the power of 3, then minus 1, close this bracket and equate this to 0. So from here we can apply 0 product true and that says x is equal to 0 or 4x to the power of 3 minus 1 equals 0. So from here we already have our x to be 0. Then on the other side, we have 4x to the power of 3 to be equal to 1. So what can I do? Divide both sides by, by x. So that x will be by 4 rather. So that x equals 0 remains on the other side. Or x to the power of 3 will be equal to 1 over 4. Because we divided both sides by the coefficient of x to the power of 3. And now what do we do? Eliminate this from here. So that if we do that, we'll be having x to be equal to 0 or x to the power of, um, of 3 multiplied by 1 over 3. This is how to eliminate the power. Multiply it by its reciprocal. That will be equal to 1 over 4 to the power of 1 over 3 so from here this is going to go with this right then we have x to be equal to 0 or x on the other side to be equal to 1 over 4 to the power of 1 over 3 so you can decide to stop over here and then you call this your final solution Thank you for watching. If you love this video, just say something in the comment section.